Sundays in Germany are sacred. It's a day of rest, something that many Germans take seriously. There's a lot to learn from this. It shows how important it is to have a healthy work-life balance. It's important to slow down and to relax, to have a day of self-care and to spend time with friends and family. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. I'm an American living in Berlin. Today I'm going to show you how to spend a Sunday in Berlin. Basically everything is closed on Sundays in Germany. When people first move here, it can be quite a shock because at least in the States, everything is always open on a Sunday. When things are closed, it can come as a shock and you don't know what to do on a Sunday, but there's actually a lot of things to do, especially in a big city like Berlin. Restaurants and cafes are still open. And it's super lovely just to go get a coffee, some kaffee and kuchen, or maybe some brunch in the morning. Today we're going to be heading off to brunch and then checking out a market at Leopoldplatz in Wedding and just enjoying your typical Sunday in Berlin. Follow me along today on my Sunday in Berlin. On Sundays I always sleep in and after catching up on my sleep, this Sunday I head out for a brunch at Mirage. Mirage is a French bistro located close to the S and U-Bahn vetting station. With a reputation for being one of the best brunch spots, we wanted to try it out. I ordered the poached eggs while my boyfriend got the scrambled eggs. Everything was delicious. We really enjoyed sitting under a tree in the shade and just enjoying our coffees and the ambience of the plaza. All right, so now we're here at Leopoldplatz, uh, checking out the market. This is the artist market. So every first Sunday of the month during the summer months, there's a market where all of the artists can come and sell their work. It's really, really nice just to be able to support your local artist and see what everybody in Berlin is creating. There's everything from jewelry to prints, ceramic work, just a large variety of different things all made here in Berlin, which is really fun. It's a super popular thing on Sundays just to go to a market. It's one of the only things to do and I think everybody in Berlin just heads to a market on Sundays. This is a really nice one. had a great time walking around, listening to the live jazz music, and buying a few beautiful illustrated prints of Berlin. One of these is a gift for a friend, and the other two will hang in our apartment. While wandering around the area after checking out the market, we saw that Himmelbeet was open and we decided to go in. Himmelbeet is a community garden. On this Sunday there was people wandering the garden, drinking something from the cafe, and relaxing in the little green oasis that Himmelbeet is. vegan cheesecake and it was really really nice and extremely relaxing there there was people just hanging out reading books um, some friends playing cards families spending time together and it just truly felt like the ultimate Sunday experience there after being there for a while we realized we were hungry since it's been a few hours since we had our breakfast so we went to our favorite burger place here in Vedding and got fries because we're not quite hungry enough for burgers, but their fries are really delicious. And now we came to the Schiller Park and we're just going to hang out here, eat our fries and relax.
One of the great things about Berlin is all the things that are left on the street, so for Schenken, for free. We've gotten so many things for our apartment just picked up off of the street. And we just found this great box full of a lot of different like glass things, like some vases and some cooking material. So we're just gonna take it all home and yeah, enjoy it. I'm really happy that we found this. It's heavy. I know. It's a lot of glass, so. <laughs> Maybe we have to put it, oh fits like a charm I feel lucky to live in a country that values taking time off and taking rest for foreigners a German Sunday can be something that is surprising and difficult to get used to I never had a problem with adjusting to the stores being closed it felt like a much needed break from the rest of the week. I don't need to be able to go shopping every day of the week. My only complaint is that it means that things are busier on Saturdays, but luckily I have the luxury to be able to do most of my shopping during the week. If you're really in a pinch, Berlin has a few grocery stores in train stations that are still open on a Sunday. Ever since I arrived in Germany, I've admired how things are closed on Sundays and the seemingly national commitment to this day off. It can feel strange if your home culture spends this day differently, but I like having this almost forced day of doing nothing. It's nice to relax, go around the city a little, or spend a lazy day at home. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please give it a like if you did. And let me know in the comments below how you like to spend your Sundays. Do you like to be busy, or do you prefer to take it a little bit easy? I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao!